Hi friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another MariaDB video tutorial. In today's episode, we'll take a look at updatable views in MariaDB. A couple of tutorials back, I did a video on MariaDB views. Now, for those of you who haven't seen that, I'll simply just quickly recap. A view is simply structured query language or SQL that's stored as an object in the database. Views can be used just as queries in a normal table, and you can select specific columns. You can restrict the results using WHERE clause, and so on. And some relational database engines, MariaDB in particular, because that's the one we're looking at, even allows data to be updated directly through the view. Let's go to dBeaver, which is our database administration tool that we installed in our last video. And under MariaDB, let's open up the databases selection and then the tutorial database. You'll see that we have a table named employees. I'll double click on that, go to properties and to DDL or data definition language, we'll see how that was actually created. We have an ID, which is an auto increment column that's used by MariaDB to provide a unique number that's associated with each row in the database. We have an employee ID, which is an integer, a first name and last name, which are both varchar of 30 length. We have a birth date, which is a date column, and a department ID, which is an integer, and that is used as a foreign key into our departments table. But after we created the employees table later on in a video, we created some views. Now, one of those that I'm going to look at in this video is employee list one. So let's open up employee list one and we'll see that it is a select statement on the employees table, selecting employee ID, last name, and first name. And we order by last name and first name. Next thing I wanted to show you is from the MariaDB knowledge base about inserting and updating with views. And this is updatable views. In order for a view to be updatable, there are a number of things that you cannot use in your view. And I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. You can have a look at that at your leisure. Another thing of note is if you scroll down further on the page, you can check as to whether a specific view, or in fact all views, which is what I'm going to show you, are updatable simply by querying one of the MariaDB tables. There is an is updatable flag. So it's possible to see if MariaDB considers a view updatable. So let's go back to dBeaver. I'm going to open up a SQL or SQL console, and then I'm going to select table name is updatable from information schema dot views. Spell table correctly. And now when I execute, I'll get a result set down at the bottom of this page. And you can see all of the views that we previously created are considered updatable by MariaDB. And it's shown by the is updatable flag value of yes. Now, how do we actually update a view? Let's get rid of the SQL that we had here. I'm going to use employee list one as the example. And in employee list one, again, we'll have access to only three columns. It is employee ID, last name, and first name. Let's first look at the case where we're going to do an insert statement into the tutorial database. So we will say insert into. Now here we would normally specify a table name, but since we're not going to be using a table, we're going to be using a view, we'll specify the view name. So I'll say employee list one. Here I specify the column names. First will be employee ID. First name. 
and last name. Followed by the values 336861 for the employee ID, then the first name John Doe. We'll execute, and of course, I have misspelled first name. We'll execute it again, and we have inserted a value or a row into the employees table. So let's go back to employees, go to data, and we'll simply right click and refresh. And we'll see John Doe has been added because we don't specify a default value for birth date that is null. And we have a default of two for the department ID. You can see that in the properties. Default of two for department ID and the default of null for the birth date. All other columns cannot be null, so we've provided a value for those in our insert statement. So that's how you insert into a MariaDB view. Next, we'll look at a case where we want to update a record in a MariaDB view. Update the table or view name. In this case, it's a view. Employee list one, set first name equal Java, last name equal junkie, where employee ID equals 336861 and execute. We'll see that the row was updated. Again, we'll go back to the employees table and refresh. And now when we look at the data, we'll see that it shows as the name Java Junkie. There is so much more that you can do with views and updatable views in MariaDB, but this has simply been a beginner's introduction to the concept. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any videos when I release new content. Thanks so much for hanging out again today. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.